From the gridiron to the harder we go, where tonight was a big night of hoops across southeastern Minnesota, but we will start tonight here in town. The Mayo Spartans going for their seventh win in their first eight games of the season, taking on Big Nine foe Northfield tonight. First half, Spartans down two, but not for long. Mo Hamadniel finds Mason Madsen beyond the arc. Spartans up three. Later in the half, Mayo turns defense into offense. Mason with the steal. He pushes ahead to twin brother Gabe. That three is buckets. Mayo up six. Still in the half. Northfield, though, trying to stay in this game. Daniel Monahan with a great pass to Kip Shetnan. The Raiders are down three, but Mayo would pull away thanks to their effort in transition. Gabe Madsen to Makai Reek who lays it in, then later, watch this one, Michael Sharp reading the play like a book, intercepting the pass, then going the other way for the bucket, and then later, Mason Madsen put the game out of reach with his outside shooting, there's a triple, then later, Mason pulling up the court, says hand down, man down, connects on another three, he had a game high 26, Mayo wins 85-54. Up north on the shores of the Mississippi, the Century Panthers looking for win number six on the season, taking on two and six Red Wings. Second half, Century up 11, but looking to extend their lead. Great pass, Jack Fisher to Stephen Olander. Century up 14 later. Century now up 20, but the wingers cut into the deficit. It's Denville Atkinson with the steal. He also ends up getting the bucket. Wingers now down 18. Still in the second, Century up 21. Watch number five, his name, Gabe Hansen beats his man, puts up the floater. That's good. Panthers up 23. Then later, Jack Fisher puts the final nail in the coffin off the turnover. Watch this. Fisher going the other way. Drops the hammer. He had 25 and 8 in this one century. Wins 78 55. Out in Lake City, the third ranked Tigers going for win number nine on the year, taking on. The Cougars of Zimbrota Mazeppa. It was the Tigers who would strike early and often. First half, Nate Heisey finds Reed Gassner. Such a good shooter. Lake City up four. A few moments later, the Cougars respond. Landon Chandler finds QB1. Willie Holm, the third, who gets the bucket. ZM down two. Still in the half, Heisey got on the scoreboard. The future UNI Panther is going to drive left. He lays it in with his offhand. Lake City now up five. But... The Cougs would stick around in this one. Check out big Anthony Silkowski here. He's a great golfer. He can also fill the bucket off the glass. ZM down two, but Lake City was too much for ZM in the end. Gassner to Heisey. No one is stopping that quick release. The Tigers win 61-48. Heisey leading all scorers with 26 points. Now to girls high school hoops. Century Panthers in for a good one tonight, hosting undefeated third-ranked Red Wing. The wingers flying out of the gate. They get the ball, uh, get a load of this ball movement. Junior Abby Deming eventually control, uh, taking control up top. The hook shot's good for the lead, but Century comes right into the uh, comes right in to mix things up. Jordan Sutton launches the fake and gets the contested bucket to fall for the tie. That play sparks up some momentum. Check this out from uh, eighth grader Taylor Clary for the and one. Panthers go up a nickel. Wingers wouldn't let that last for long. Sydney Ron turns defense into offense. Takes the Panthers on a ride. She gets the easy lay to fall. Red Wing pushes its win streak to eight with a 75-41 win over Century. Now to the Clash Wrestling Tournament. Triple A seventh ranked Owatonna Huskies taking on Washington from Illinois in the bracket D quarterfinals will start at heavyweight. Third ranked Isaiah Noldner taking on Washington's Dylan Cooper. Noldner would score the only takedown of the match and go on to win this one by decision. 3-0 at 152, soon to be top-ranked Landon Johnson taking on Washington's Donnie Hinden. Johnson dominated this match from start to finish, picking up the pin for the win. Now down to 138, Owatonna's Jacob Renardi taking on Washington's Zeke Hewlett. This was a tough match, but in the end it was Hewitt that picked up the win by decision. Next, we're going to head back up to 160. Owatonna's Caden Nelson was in and out of the top 10 last year, taking on Jake Solberger. It will be Solberger picking up the win, but Owatonna advances to the semis with a 31-25 win. Earlier in the day, Mayo taking on Anoka in a loser's bracket matchup. We'll start at 152 pounds with Mayo's Cade Sheehan. He's ranked fifth in the state at 145. He had no trouble with Anoka's Kale Brandenburg. QB1 put up points in a hurry in this one, winning 16-9 for Mayo. Next to heavyweight, Mayo's Keegan Ernst had his eyes on six points for the Spartans. Second period, he'd win by fall over Tyler Nebelung. 
from Anoka, but at 106, Calder Sheehan's wrestling Anoka's Ali Altringer. The younger Sheehan picked up the points with ease. In this match, he'd win by tech fall for Mayo to get the win. Then at 120, here he comes. Rick Kobayashi taking on Logan's, or Anoka's Logan Miles. The Mayo Spartan would get the pin for the win, but in the end, Anoka beat Mayo 43-29.